G'day guys, my name is Caleb, otherwise known as the Critic Kebab, and a new teaser trailer for Star Wars Episode 9 has just been released. I've been following along with the Star Wars Celebration panel uh, down in Chicago, uh, so let's just get straight into the reaction right now. Whereabouts are we? We've passed on all we know. <sighs> oh. A thousand generations live in you now. A lightsaber's been rebuilt, I think. But this is your fight. Every generation has a legend. Luke Skywalker, baby. I'm so glad Mark Hamill's coming back. He needed to. Is that Kylo? What is going on here? What? Whoa! Rebuild the helmet. <laughs> hey, Lando! Saga comes to an end. The end of the Skywalker saga. We'll oh, always be with you. No one's ever really gone. Fox oh, with chills. <laughs> no way. Palpatine, are you serious? The Rise of Skywalker. There's our title, baby. Woo! Wow. I love the title. That's perfect. We're concluding the, the Skywalker saga. That makes perfect sense. I'm really excited to see both the prequel trilogy, the original trilogy, and the sequel trilogy all combine, culminate, and climax in this awesome, hopefully awesome finale. I can't believe we're bringing Palpatine back. I won't lie, when the rumors came out about Palpatine being in this movie, I didn't believe it. Because I was like, why would you bring Palpatine, this character that was so obviously killed uh, in episode 6, you know, why would we bring him back? Um, but Ian McDermott rocked up on stage, demanded that the trailer roll again in the Palpatine voice. That is most definitely his evil cackle that he does. And that's a great thing. That's really going to give the, the fans a lot to speculate on how he comes back, why he comes back, what his purpose is in this movie. Um, that's one thing I'm really looking forward to. Because the big thing with me, uh, with The Last Jedi, is that whilst I did enjoy that movie... Um, I feel like it very it ended very close ended, so there wasn't a whole lot to really kind of speculate about. So for me personally, I've kind of been in this uh, moment of status uh, where I'm kind of been like not sure what the actual you know story and plot of this movie was, and because this is a teaser trailer, it doesn't really give us a whole lot about story details. Um, but from what I did see, I I liked it. I'm liking it so far. Um, obviously, I love the voiceover of, you know, Mark Hamill as Luke Skywalker, you know, bringing back that line of no one's ever really gone. That kind of plays, you know, both elements of both Palpatine, I guess, coming back and obviously Luke and obviously the passing of Carrie Fisher. Uh, Leia, we did see a shot of her in this trailer. Uh, it looks like, because from what I've heard, uh, they're going to be using footage from uh, Episode 7, the stuff that they did shoot uh, with J.J. Abrams. Obviously, he's directing this movie. Uh, so I don't know how they're going to do that with the voice and the visual effects or whether the, how they do it, I'm not too sure. But regardless, I'm really excited to see uh, Leia's uh, involvement in this story. Uh, obviously, Luke Skywalker is going to be coming back as a Force ghost, providing some wisdom to Rey. Um, the big thing that I noticed in this trailer is that this, uh, the, sc the lightsaber that was destroyed uh, in the last movie, obviously Luke and Anakin's before uh, him, it seems to be either rebuilt or maybe it's a refurbished one. I'm not too sure what's going on with that. 
But regardless, Ray's got a lightsaber. That was really quite thrilling when I, I assume that's Kylo Ren, uh, you know, darting towards her in his uh, in his jet. I don't know what planet they're on, but regardless, I'm really excited to see what the dynamic is between Kylo Ren and Ray in this movie. Um, obviously, we didn't really get a whole lot. Uh, of, it, of shots really to do with Poe and Finn, and we don't really know what obviously they're doing in this movie, uh, but we got a shot of Lando Calrissian. Billy D. Williams is coming back for episode nine. I'm so excited. He He's one of those characters where I feel like he should have been involved in the previous two movies in some capacity. Uh, I think he could have weaved him into The Last Jedi, but regardless of, uh, of that, he is coming into episode nine, and I'm really interested to see uh, what his involvement is in this movie, how he comes back into the story, and his obviously his reaction to uh, obviously Han and the passing of Luke as well. Um, obviously, this movie that we got the title reveal. Uh, this was a big speculation point, uh, but they did the same thing that Avengers Endgame did. They you know held the title off and revealed it in the trailer. So obviously, the trailer is going to get more clicks and uh, the you know everything like that. So the title is called Rise of the Skywalker. I'm really satisfied with that trailer, as I mentioned before. Uh, like I said, it's a great way, I think, of kind of culminating these, this saga that we've um, all uh, been experiencing over the last four years. Um, obviously, whether the Skywalker element has anything, like whether there's anything else going on there, obviously Kylo Ren, as of right now, is kind of the, la like the main protagonist that we go with the Skywalker, even though he is obviously the son of Han and Leia. Um, obviously, because um, I don't really know what they're going to do with the Kylo Ren character. For me personally, I hope they don't redeem him. I, I feel like his character arc, I think it, he needs to stay on that evil path. He's, you know, risen the ranks. He's now the supreme leader. I think that's where he needs to stay. And I don't know how they do it. Obviously, it depends on how they do it. But for me personally, I think he just needs to be the big bad of this movie. But in saying that, they're bringing Palpatine back. So I have no idea what the evil dynamic of this movie is going to be obviously when luke finds out about palpatine's involvement or something i have no idea but regardless i'm really excited to see how all this comes together uh, obviously it was a teaser trailer so we don't really get a whole lot of you know story details but obviously now i'm really excited for this movie and i'm willing to speculate about all the the intricacies of the narrative that we're going to be experiencing in december at the end of this year also, I will be following along with all the stuff going on this weekend because it is Star Wars Celebration. Uh, so make sure you stick around on the channel because I have a feeling we're going to get a Mandalorian trailer. We might get some stuff for Clone Wars, which I'm super excited for. Uh, and we'll see what else we get. Uh, so if you don't want to miss out on that, any of that stuff, make sure you go down and hit that subscribe button. I would love to hear your thoughts of the trailer. Uh, let me know them down in the comments below. Uh, as always, if you like the reaction, make sure you go down and hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you don't go down and hit that uh, subscribe button. I'd really appreciate that. It helps out the channel. Uh, as always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in another video.